Most GCSE students turn the page when they saw this six mark question. And when they turn the page, there was nothing there because something like this would have come up towards the end of the paper. I can't tell you where it came from because this was sent to me by a student. Although I remember doing this question a long time ago uh, when I was teaching in schools and I did it with my year 11s after a mock. So what's all these yaps in? Saying the diagram shows a frustum made by removing a cone from a cone. So you can see here they've taken this cone out from this larger cone. The frustum is then joined to a solid hemisphere to form this solid uh, shown below. You can see it has the same diameter and the cone has just, uh, it's just sitting very nicely on top of it. It says the density of the frustum is 2.4 grams per centimeters cubed. The hemisphere, the density is 4.8 grams per centimeters cubed. Calculate the density of this solid. Okay, well, to calculate the density of a solid, we first need to write down what the formula is. All right, so let's just take things step by step. We're saying, all right, if I want to know the density of this, what information do I need to know about it? Now, guys, if you ever forget the, um, the formula, just look at the units. It says it right here. Density is grams divided by centimeter cubed. Grams is the mass, centimeters cubed is the volume. So the density of an object is the mass divided by volume. Okay, so the DMV in that. Now, if you want to know the density of this object, I need to know its total mass and I need to know its total volume. Okay, so that means we need to focus on each shape individually and say, okay, for this frustum, what is its mass and what is its volume? Okay, so let's focus on each thing separately. So here's my frustum. I have the density, yeah. I'm going to have to work out its mass and volume. All right, so let's go over here. And we need to say, all right, I need to work out the volume of this frustum. Well, to do this, I recommend you guys draw two pictures. You draw the big cone and the small cone, and we're going to subtract them. All right? So we have our big cone and our small cone. Now, because one was taken out of the other, so the small was taken out of the big one, they are similar shapes. Okay, that's very important here for frustums. Now, the height of this frustum is these two added together, which is 6.4. And the diameter was 7.2. Now, because we're going to have to calculate the volume, I actually don't like this 7.2. I'm going to half it because um, we like the radius. Half of 7.2 is 3.6. Now, can you see we took out the small cone, which has height 3.2? Well, then it's clear then that this cone is half the size of this one. So its radius is going to be 1.8. So now we can easily calculate the volume. All right. So the volume of this is going to be the volume of this minus this. What is the volume of a cone or pyramid? You do one third base area times the vertical height. Now, because this is a cone, the base area is a circle. So it's going to be one third pi r squared. Yeah, so pi r squared times the height. All right, so the radius is 3.6 and the height is 6.4. Okay, so I'm going to start subbing things in. So you have one third pi, the radius being 3.6, squared times the height of 6.4. I'm going to subtract 1 third pi, the radius being 1.8 squared, times the height 3.2. Now I'm sure this is going to simplify nicely for them because 1 third, the 3 goes into 3.6 quite nicely. And the quicker way to type this is you do 1 third pi, then bracket all of this minus all of this. So what I'm going to type in is 1 third pi, then a bracket, Another bracket, 3.6 squared times 6.4 uh, minus 1.8 squared times 3.2. And I do not get a very nice answer, which, oh, it's because I didn't put the 3.6. I didn't close that bracket. I still don't get a nice answer. One third pi, 3.6 squared. That's annoying. Maybe I need to type these in separately then. So one third pi uh, times 3.6 squared 
times 6.4? No, I just don't seem to be getting nice answers um, at all, which is pretty annoying. So that's 76 point whatever. I'm actually just going to store its value then. So I'm going to store that as A. And now I store the A as something else. I'm just going to have to uh, type this all in again. I'll probably cut this bit. So my volume is 76.0014 dot dot dot, which I'm storing as A. So now that I've stored that as A, I can now work out the mass of the frustum. Now the mass of my frustum is D times V, density times the volume. And the density of that frustum was 2.4. So I'm going to do 2.4 times this value of A. So times by 2.4, I get 182, which I'm going to store that as B. So 182.403 dot dot dot, store that as B. Now I need to move on to the hemisphere. Now the hemisphere should be much nicer to work out because the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume of a hemisphere will be half of that. 4 thirds, half of that, 2 thirds. 2 thirds pi and the radius is also 3.6, isn't it? Cute. Okay. So we're doing uh, 2... Wait, hold on. Did I store that value? I did. 2 thirds pi radius cubed. I get 97. I don't know why it doesn't want to keep it in terms of a uh, fraction, but anyway. I get 97 point... 7, 1, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to store that as C. Okay. How do I work out the mass of the hemisphere then? Uh, I just need to times it by 4.8. So that's my volume. My mass then, timesing this by 4.8. I'm going to store that as D. So I get 469.037, dot, dot, dot. Store that as D. So now for my solid... I need to calculate the um, density. I'm going to do the total mass divided by the total volume. So there are my masses. And this is why we store the values. I'm going to do B plus D divided by the total volume, which is A plus C. So I do fraction alpha B plus alpha D over alpha A plus alpha C. Whoa! 15 over 4. 3.75, dude, what an answer, 3.75, I was not expecting that, 3.75 grams per centimeter cubed, yo, that is so cool, I just had B plus D over A plus C, but yeah guys, I reckon they would have given a range for this because the numbers are just so messy, but they still work out very nicely, which is super cool, but yeah guys, six marks for that. If you uh, learned something today, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more GCSE maths content. If you want to submit your own questions, link to the Lungang Reddit pages down below. And if you're interested in my GCSE courses, details are also in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.